Hello again, boys and girls. We're going to do math. We're going to start a new topic. And the story that I just read you, I Want to Be Somebody New, kind of touched on the topic. Remember in the story, the character wanted to be somebody new, and the first thing he became was that elephant with the spots. But his friends decided that he was much, much too big, right? So then he wanted to be someone else. And then he became a giraffe. And although he wasn't as fat as wide as the elephant as the giraffe he was still too big right then he became a mouse which then was what too small so that is what we're going to talk about today because in math we're going to start talking about measurement different things we measure and different ways we measure so today we're going to talk about size words and it reminds me of a story and I wish I thought to bring it home when I was at school but I'm sure you all know it the story of Goldilocks and the three bears right remember their food was too hot temperature word so we, we already know how to measure temperature right and their soup was, their porridge was too hot, so they decided to go for a walk. And in comes Goldilocks, right? And she sat in each seat and she said, Oh, this one's too big. Or this one's too small. And then she found one that was just right. Same with the bed, right? This one's too big. This one's too small. But this one's just right. So when you're buying something for yourself that you're going to wear, or use, you want to make sure it fits. So that would be talking about size. And that's what we're going to talk about today, size. So before we start, I'm going to read you a, a book about size. And it's called Size. Do you ever wonder what words mean? This is a toy moose. It's so big that I that it is hard to carry. A moose in real life is huge. Miss Sweeney has seen three of them. This baby elephant is bigger than a toy moose, but the mother elephant is the biggest of them all. Listen for the size words. This is a toy car. How do you know that it is too small to ca How do you know that it is too small to carry people? Right? A toy car is small. It can't carry real living people. This car looks as small as the toy car. How can you tell that it is bigger? How can you tell it's bigger? Well, you can see, but also there's a man standing next to it and it's bigger than him. So that's comparing. This is a van. Do you think it is bigger or smaller than the car? What do you think? Right, a van is bigger than a car. This is a double-decker bus. It carries over 50 people. It is bigger than a car and a van. It is the biggest vehicle. So first was a car, and that was big. And then a van, and that was bigger, but a double-decker bus is the biggest. To know the size of things, you need to have to do some measuring. To know the size of things, we need to have something to measure them against. That means to compare them with. These wheels could be any size, right? When you're looking at them in a the book, oh, they could be any size. How do you know that this wheel is enormous? Well, let's take a look. Do you see this? This is a really enormous, another size word, wheel. And how can you tell it's enormous? Because there is a child standing next to it. So you have something to compare it with, something to measure it against. It's hard to guess how large this model might be. It is, is it big or is it small? What do you think? All right, the dinosaur probably fit. You know that this dinosaur is very big indeed. These fruits are different sizes. Which is the biggest? Which is the smallest? So you can only use words like biggest and smallest 
when you're comparing them to others. Which one is the biggest? Looks like a, a cantaloupe. And which is the smallest? A tomato. These toy bears are not the same size. Which is bigger? Which is smaller? Bigger, smaller. We could also say larger, smaller. Larger also means bigger. Sometimes we need to arrange things in size order. These jars are different sizes. Now, here's our different sizes. Now they are arranged by size. The biggest jar is on the left and the smallest jar is on the right, like steps. And you're going to do something similar today. Largest to smallest. We use, we use the words big and small to describe the size of things. A rabbit is bigger than a hamster. So here in this picture there's a rabbit, here's a hamster. But, sm but smaller than a pony. And a pony is a big animal, but it is smaller than a horse. The word big and small use, are used to help us compare one thing to another. A coat can be too big or too small. Is the, girl too, is the girl's coat too big or is it too small? Well, let's look at the boy. Now, says, look, too big for him or too small for him? Right, too big because there's extra room. That's how you know it's too big. And look at the girl. She doesn't have enough room to cover her arms, so hers is too small. When we buy shoes, we have to make sure they are the right size for the person who would wear them. Or you, don't want, you, you always want to make sure, check, make sure they're the same size. Sometimes we need to make things appear larger so that we can see them more easily. A hornet is a very small creature. Enlarged, it would look like this. Enlarged is when you make something look bigger, like with a magnifying glass or a microscope, binoculars. These are raindrops on a leaf, and they also have been enlarged. Sometimes, Things seem to be smaller than they really are. Can you think of something that seems smaller than it really is? Right, if you look up in the sky and you see an airplane, it looks smaller than it really is in real life, right? Why? Right, because it is so far away. We know that airplanes are very, very large. So there's an airplane in the sky, but then here it is on the ground. How do you know that this house is big enough for you to live in, right? In the book, it looks very small because it's taken from far away, the picture. And this house has been built for dolls. What is the biggest thing that you can think of? What is the smallest thing you can think of? So that's a doll house. It looks bigger than this one on the page because the Picture is taken up close, but only dolls can fit in that one, and humans would really fit in the one that looks smaller. Okay, so we are going to do a lot of talking about things of different size and different ways to measure them. Today, we're talking about small and large. So what you're going to do is, here is a paper that you're going to sequence, order them from the largest to the smallest, but not how they look on the page, how they look in real life. Because on the page, right, they all have to fit on the page. So the illustrator made them to fit on the page, but you have to think, how are they in real life? Like the on the paper, the elephant 
I'm sorry, the mouse looks larger than a horse, but is that how it is in real life? No. So you're going to do largest to smallest. Cut each one out. The largest goes on the bottom, the smallest goes on the top. So you're putting them in size order and comparing. Okay. And then on this one, we're going to talk about large, medium, and small. And I drew color codes on the bottom so you would know what to do. So for each set of animals, there's three, large, medium, and small. The largest in each group, you will color red. That's why I made a largest red circle. The medium will be blue, and the smallest will be yellow. Okay, and then you're going to do one page in your book comparing size. Okay. Somebody might have to read you the direction for each, but you'll circle or X the one that is the largest and the one that is the smallest. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about specific types of sizes and how to measure them. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you in a little while for religion.